What's up everyone, how you doing? Blue Nerd here and welcome my friends to a brand new Minecraft build tutorial series. I sure hope you guys are having an awesome day. Now guys, I'm super excited for this brand new series. This is going to be a little bit different to our previous series. We're still going to work exactly the same. So we we'll, each episode we will take one build in the actual village or city that we're going to be building and we'll do a complete tutorial on how to build it. And then the next episode we'll do another tutorial and until we sort of progress and build up the village slash city. And that's exactly what we're going to do with this series. So none of that will be changing. The difference with this series is going to be we're going to have a huge variety of new builds. There's a lot of new colors and stuff like that we're going to be using to incorporate into the city and create a really nice kind of looking city with a lot of colors and a lot of different sort of styles and shapes and stuff like that. So it should be really good. Now today we're going to start with a huge kind of, or I say huge, a big kind of uh, dock slash harbor area. This is going to be today's build. We're going to do it block for block. I will be speeding it up little bits here and there, but I will make sure that it's easy enough for you guys to follow. And I'm also going to give you guys the seed, the exact location where we are building, and the placement of our very first block so that you guys can follow along and build this exact build in your own world if you want to. Um, but before we do that, guys, let's take a quick look at the blocks we're going to be using in today's video. Okay, for this build, we're going to be using some polished andesite, stone bricks, stone brick slabs and stairs some oak logs, some stone slabs, spruce slabs, planks, stairs, fences and trapdoors, some chiseled stone bricks and some stone. And over here guys, I'm going to be using these for texturizing some of the ground. Now I'm using granite, andesite and diorite and I will be using them alongside stone and polished andesite over here, okay, in the ground. Now if you have a red granite block i suggest you don't use that block and just use the other blocks and if you really want to blend something else in you could maybe use a bit of cobblestone that might blend in quite nicely in your texture pack or maybe even some gravel so just work out what work what block works best for you okay but if you're following along with my texture pack i'm going to be texturizing with granite andesite diorite stone and polished andesite which is this block here okay and with that being said guys let's get straight in and start building Okay guys, if you want to follow along with this build, I'm going to leave the seed and the coordinates in the description below. But I'll quickly bring them up on screen for you as well. So if you want to pause the video, in the left hand corner there, you can see there is the seed number. And we're going to go ahead and bring up the coordinates. So on the X coordinate, we are 2108. And on the Z coordinate, we are 1381. All right, we're going to start from this exact block that I'm standing on. Now, if you want to follow along, guys, the coordinates for this exact block are 21 to 6 on the X coordinate. And on the Z coordinate, we are 1388. OK, and what we want to do is we want to bring a pillar all the way up until we are level 68. OK, and this is going to be one block above the ground level. The ground level is going to sit here. OK, but we're going to have a pillar here. So we're going to bring these up to 68 on the Y coordinate. Right. So once you've got this little pillar in place, make sure you take it all the way down to wherever at the bottom of the ocean um, so that it looks like it is well supported. And this is going to be where we're going to be starting. So from this pillar here, heading towards the land over that side there, we're going to add some andesite blocks, one down from here. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to place another pillar here. But for the moment, we're just going to put a marker there. So we're going to just put a wood, a wood log there again. Then we're going to go one, two, three, four, five again. Place a log. One, two, three, four, five. Place a log. One, two, three, four, five. Place a log. Now, how many pillars do we have now? We now have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay. Now, from here, we're going to get our polished andesite again. And now we're going to turn to the right of the land, okay? So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to place a log. One, two, three, four, five. 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 Place a log. And just keep repeating this until we get to this wall over here, okay? So let's do it one more time. 
five. Three or five. Post a log. Okay, and I think we can fit it in one more time. One, two, three, four, five, and then a log can go there. Now, let me just work out some markings here, guys. So now that we've got this in place, we're just going to quickly go over and work some things out. So first of all, in this corner here, on this side, we're going to break these ones here because this is going to be a little stairway, first of all. Okay. Then we want one, two, three, four, five, six pillars. Okay. And then we're going to have a stairway just there. This is going to be where a little kind of, I suppose, like a jetty, as they call it, or like a big kind of pier that's going to come out into the water. And then we're going to have another set of stairs in this gap here. Okay. So now we can see what we've got. We've got one, two, three, four pillars. Now, every gap here, guys, that I'm doing is five blocks. Okay. So there's five andesite blocks between every pillar. Okay. So we've got one, two, three, four pillars. Then we've got a gap and then another pillar. From that pillar there, you've got that one. Then two, three, four, five, and six. Then we've got a gap. One pillar, two pillar, and then we've got the center point here. Then we've got a gap and another pillar just here. Okay, now that gives us some kind of idea of where we're going to be working with. Now, over this side here, we're going to do the same thing. This is where we started from. This is the pillar we started with, and we went that way. Now we're going to come this way. So one, two, three, four, five. Pillar. And then back to the other side. One, two, three. And we can go ahead and just break a little bit of this just for the moment. More of this can be cleared out at a later point. But for now, we're just going to go like that. And then this one over here would obviously be a pillar. And if you wanted to, you could just clear this little bit here as well. Just to even it off. There we go. Right, so now we've got that all marked out. Now, that is quite a bit of land there, so a fair amount of coverage. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by going to the pillars. You want to break that one out there and then drop down to the bottom of the ocean. Ooh, as low as you are, and then just build your pillar all the way up and then bring it one above like so, okay? And do this for all of these wooden pillars. And just drop all the way down and then... You just bring your pillars all the way up. Just like this, okay? Now, I'm going to go around, guys. I'm going to do this on every single wooden pillar, okay? So, go around and just bring them all up and bring them to the same height, which is one past the andesite, okay? Okay, guys. Once you're done, you should have something that looks a bit like this, Okay. Now we're going to come over to this pillar where we ended over here by the uh, by the little hill on the right hand side. And starting from here we're going to do the same thing. So one, two, three, four, five. Then we're going to make another marking for a pillar. Then we're going to go down and do another one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to do a pillar again just there. Okay, so there should be three pillars across this edge here. Now we're going to go over to this side and we're going to go one one two three four five another one one two three four five another one and we're going to keep going along one two three now you will need to clear some of this mountain some of this hill here okay if you want to clear this out we want to basically go across until we get i think it's about seven pillars in okay so you want to go ahead from here, you want to clear this, go down one, and you want to clear all of this above you. Clear it all the way. So if we break all the way through the mountain like this, keep going. There we go. So break all the way through to this side. Go ahead and break all of the top part out as well. Okay, and now all we want to do is just clear out all of this part over this side and clear it all out of the way. Alright guys, once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this and just go ahead and just fill in any holes you have in the ground. Don't worry about this big mountain piece on the side here at the moment. We will be working with that in a little bit. 
Okay, but for now, we just want to get in some kind of foundations of our build. So, we've got one pillar, two pillar, three pillar. Let's go ahead and put two more of those, and then we go pillar. One, two, three, four, five, pillar. One, two, three, four, five, pillar. One, two, three, four, five, pillar. And I think we can probably do one more. One, two, three, four, five, pillar. I think that will do for the moment. How many pillars do we have in total down this side? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight pillars in total. Right, that's looking pretty good. Go ahead and do the same thing with these pillars here, guys. Go ahead and break this one out and go down and just raise your pillar from the ground up. All right, guys, once you're done, you want to head over to this little section here. And what we're going to do is we're going to just break those two there. Just place one andesite on that side, one andesite on that side. And then we're going to just break these ones in the center here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to place just a temporary block on top. One, two, three, four, five. And a temporary block on there. Okay, now, this is going to be a little bit awkward because I don't know the exact count. So what we're going to do is we're going to work it out by the pillars, okay? So from here, we've got one temporary, just a temporary block as a pillar, yeah? So one, two, three, four, five, and then place a six one, pillar on top. One, two, three, four, five, six, pillar on top. One, two, three, four, five, six with a pillar on top. One, two, three, four, five, six pillar on top how many pillar is is that so that's one two three four five okay we need to go one more so we got six one two three four five six pillar on top like so then this one here we can just break that one on the top there and just bring this all the way down and we want to just join it up with this one here Just like that. And then these ones on top, we can go ahead and just remove all of these. Okay, these are not needed now. That was just to line up the markings for this little kind of, um, I suppose it's kind of like a bit of a pier that comes out. Now, from the bottom on these two corners here, we're just going to bring these all the way down to the seabed at the bottom. So we should have something that looks a bit like this, okay? Now, you can kind of see a little bit of kind of where we're going with the shape here, okay? You can get a bit of an idea of how this is going to look. Now, let's get our stone blocks. And from the back of this, we're going to work from, we work from this corner over here. So this is going to be the ground over. So break these two blocks here. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Okay. And then we're going to just run this all the way down as far as we can down to that end there. Okay. And if anything gets in the way, we're just going to break it out. So any of these blocks here, just get rid of them like this and just continue it all the way down. Now we're going to bring it all the way down to this corner in here, guys. Okay. Break these ones out here like this. Okay. That's looking pretty good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to just fill all of the top of this with some stone. Okay. So we want to fill in all of this edge inside here with stone. All of this edge in here with stone. We will texturize it all later, but for now we just want it to be stone. We want to bring it down the jetty as well in the top and also in the top of this area here. So what you might want to do as well is clear a little bit of room out on this bit of land here. So I would probably say give yourself one, two, three, four, five, about six blocks and just chop off the edge of this. 
So bring all of this, chop all of this out of the way. To there, okay. And then from this side here as well, you want to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. So again, anything from here that's in your way, you want to chop this bit off as well, okay? So you want, from the front here, you just want to clear this six blocks of dirt and sand out of the way here. And then this six blocks at the side here of the dirt and that, cleared out of the way. And then you just want to fill that same layer where the andesite is. Just fill all of this with your stone like this. Okay, just go ahead and fill it all in like as a floor level, all right? So go ahead, fill all of that in. Get rid of your two parts at the side. You also want to fill in down the side here. That little end piece and then this little piece between the andesite blocks here okay so i'm gonna go ahead and quickly do that off camera guys and i'll catch you in a second when we're done okay guys once you're done you have something that looks a bit like this and as you can see we're getting a nice kind of flooring in there i know this is a bit plain but don't worry we will be changing up that floor a little bit later on and adding in a little bit more of a variety of blocks to give it a bit of texture and make it look much nicer now, what we're going to do, guys, as you can see over here, I've started filling in some of the walls with stone bricks, just like this, okay? In between these these, uh, these oak log pillars. So we're going to do that with all of the gaps all around the entire part of this. And also, where this um, pier comes out here, we want to fill all the way down to the other side like this, all the way down to the other end, to that pillar, and then take it all the way down, if you can, to the bottom of the ocean. Now, you haven't got to take it to the bottom if you don't want to. Just take it down far enough so that you can't see it, okay? Um, I know there's a lot of blocks there to fill in, so it would take a while. Um, you may want to get some some uh, some water breathing potions or some aqua infinity enchantment on your helmet or something like that. Just to help you breathe in underwater to get it done. Um, but go ahead and fill in as much as you can down there. And uh, yeah, it should look pretty good when you're done. So I'm going to go ahead and do that underneath all of these gaps here. The only thing you want to bear in mind, guys, is where we don't have these andesite blocks above, okay? Where we have no andesite blocks, just leave these gaps empty, okay? So that one there, leave that empty. This one here, leave it empty. This one here at the back, leave it empty. And I think that's about it. The rest can all be filled in. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys, and I will catch you once it's done. Alright guys, once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this. Okay, so we should have all of our stone brick all underneath here and these should all look like they're well supported now. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to head over to where we've got our pier just over here. I'm going to just temporarily place a block on the corner. It doesn't matter what block we do, guys. Any block is fine, okay? And then just count five blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, and then on the sixth one, place a block. One, two, three, four, five, one on the sixth one. Four, five, one on the six one, three, four, five, one on the six one, three, four, five, six one, one, two, three, four, five, six one. Okay, this is just as a marking, just for the moment, okay? So, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna come over to this pillar here, okay? Then we're gonna go to where the water starts, we're gonna leave one block, and on the bottom half of the second block up, we're gonna place a spruce slab. We're going to extend this all the way down. Bring, keep coming down all the way. And then we want to bring it out from here. Where this, this is the corner here. The second point across, the second pillar across there. We want to bring it out again at the same height. So the bottom half of the second block up. Okay. Do that. Okay. And then we're going to go over to this corner here. We're going to do the same thing. So second block up on the bottom half just bring them slabs all the way across and join this up make sure it's in a straight line all the way across 
then we're gonna go from this side here so we'd go across from there join into this one here and then we're gonna bring it all the way back and we're gonna actually bring this one all the way to the corner okay and then join it up just in here like that okay that's good for that side now for this side we want to follow along where this little um, this pillar would be and we're gonna go there again so one block up on the bottom half of the second block so two three four and five and then we want to bring it from should be actually here so go from on the corner here go to that bottom half of that second block there and then bring that all the way down we're gonna join that up just there and then here we're gonna count one two three four five on that fifth one there we're just gonna bring that all the way across and join it up to wherever it ends up joining up on this bit of land here okay and this part here we're gonna go ahead and just fill this all in just quickly so let's do this bit here on the ground okay just fill in all of this gap with the slabs and bring it all the way down as far as you can Okay, fill that part in there. Right, that's good. We've got our bit of platform in now. Now what we're going to do, guys, is just fill this bit all the way down to the wall over there. And then we're going to fill all of this piece in, this piece, and this piece down here, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and quickly do that off camera, and I'll catch you guys once we're done. All right, guys, once you're done, you can go ahead and break out these temporary blocks up here. We can get rid of these now. These are not needed. So let's get rid of those. Excellent. Okay, right, we've got all of that all in place now, and it's looking pretty good. So now what we're going to do is we'll start over from this side here, and we're going to just start placing in a couple of pillars to the ground. So where the pillar is in front, right on this edge here, we want to put a pillar, okay, right at the start there. And we only want to bring it up so it is in line with the slab there, so it has to come up one extra half, okay, and that is good. We're going to do the same all the way across. So where there's a pillar there, we're going to go ahead, come down here, bring it all the way up. Move over, break a gap. Make sure you go down in that gap and then just build your pillar all the way up. Now, when you get to the little corners here, we're going to do something a little bit different. So what you do is you're going to break this one and this one. We're going to do pillars on both of these, okay? Go all the way down. And then bring your pillar up to there. And again, we're going to bring ourselves down again and bring another pillar up here. And this is only on the corners we're going to do this. Only, well, only on the inverted corners, okay? The ones that go in like this, okay? Otherwise, we're just going to follow along. Now, for here, it's going to be a little bit different. So here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Break the sixth one. And then one, two, three, four, five. And then on the corner, break that one. Okay. And again, go ahead and fill these up with a pillar. Okay. Now we're going to do a very similar thing on this side here as well. So we're going to come over to the right hand side at the front here. And on this one, we're going to break this one here, which is in line with that pillar. And then this one here, which would have been in line with the next pillar on this side. Okay, and go ahead and do exactly the same thing. So come down and fill yourself out a pillar all the way up. Bringing it just one block past, well, to the same block that the slab is on, okay? But it'll just be half a block past. Then we can do the same in here. So we should have something that looks a bit like that. Now we're going to just go ahead down the side here towards the uh, edge of the pier. And we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. Break the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five. Break the sixth one. 
One, two, three, four, five. Break the sixth one. One, two, three, four, five. Break the sixth one. Okay. And again, guys, just do exactly the same thing here. Ideally, you want to bring it up from the bottom of the ocean if you can. But if you don't have enough resources or that, feel free to just take it down as far until you kind of just until it's kind of too dark to see it anymore. Okay. So as you can see, we can only see down about sort of about 10 or 15 blocks here in the water. So that's only the far as far as you need to go. It's best to take it to the bottom of the ocean if you can. Here we've got a boat in the way. So what I'm going to actually do is actually just break through the boat. And I'm going to just bring it all the way up from the bottom of the ocean again. Just like so. And just go ahead and do the same for these ones as well. Okay, once we're done guys, we're going to go ahead and break in the gaps right in line with our post at the front here. So break that one there. That one there. That one there. Now, I think we've made a mistake here. How long, like, why is this? One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we've made this six wide. So we need to break this one row across the edge here, guys. Be careful you don't do that. This platform around the side of the woods should be five blocks wide the whole way around, okay? So uh, just make sure you don't accidentally overdo it like I did. So we're going to break that one there and that one there. And again, guys. Come down to the bottom and bring that all the way up. Just like so. And we're going to do the same again on here. And we're going to do the same in those gaps in just a moment. See now as you can see we've got this one is in line with that pillar. That one is in line with that pillar. So just break a gap in front of your last few pillars like so. And now in all of these gaps, guys, go ahead and just bring your pillar up like we've done on the rest. Okay, guys, once you're done, go ahead and get your spruce slabs. And we're going to come over to this edge just here, right over where this gap is, where we have nothing between it. And we're going to go one, two, one, two, break these all the way across like so. And we're going to make a little stairway here. So we're going to go one slab up and then bring this slab up one more, this one up one more. Then break one more row just here, and we're going to have one more slab just in there, okay? Then we're just going to bring that all the way across like so. Same on here. Just bring all of the top slabs all the way across. And this just creates a nice little stairway. Okay, just like that. Then go ahead and break these three on this side, and these three on this side by the side of the stairs. And you just want to place a stone brick down at the bottom there. Bring it across, do that, do the same on this side. So we don't want to bring it down to the bottom part and then just bring it up one. And then with our andesite blocks on the top here, we're just going to go ahead and just fill that in like that. And that creates a really nice little kind of stairway as you can see. Now we're going to do exactly the same over in this gap. So again, we're going to go one, two and three all the way back. We're going to break these ones here and these ones here. Bring ourselves a little wall up at the side like that. Some andesite blocks on the top. Same over here and then just extend a little wall with stone bricks at the side there, just like that. And then we can just go slab, slab, slab. Actually, it should have been there, shouldn't it? Slab, slab, slab and slab and then just bring them all the way across. Just like so. And over here, just where we have this um, block here, just go ahead and just put a couple of stone bricks in there, like so. Right, now we're going to put one more staircase in just here again. So one, two, three. Bring them all the way back. Break these three in here and these three in here. Go ahead, put your three andesite blocks in that edge like that. Fill this little edge here with some stone. Same in here. Now, it'd probably be a good idea, guys, if you're in survival, to go ahead underneath this pier here and go ahead and just place in some light in just so that no mobs spawn underneath because uh, you will start getting some mobs under there, which will create probably a bit of lag and just a pain in the bum. 
Now starting from this little wooden pillar here, we're gonna go ahead and actually break it first of all and place a couple of stone uh, stone bricks. Then we're gonna go one, two, three, and four. And just fill all of those in all the way across. There we go. There we go. Now we've got three little walkways that all come down onto our little kind of um, our little decking area. Right, that's starting to look pretty good, guys. Right, first thing first, let's go ahead and get ourselves some spruce trap doors and some spruce fences. So, first of all, let's start with the spruce fences. We're going to run them from this corner here, which is over at the left hand side. So, this is the pillar we very first started with. We're going to bring them across here. So let's run them across here like so. Also across here. And we're going to just bring it all the way across like this. All the way up to the stairs there. Then from this pillar here, we're going to bring it all the way across here. Okay, now once we get to here, we're going to go over to this corner. Place them between all of our, our uh, log pillars all the way. Follow it all the way around. And just run it all the way down to that end there. Okay, once you've done that, go ahead and get your spruce trap doors and just place a trap door on top of all of the logs, okay? Making sure you get it on the logs. Bring it all the way around. Across the top here. Okay, and once you're done, guys, go ahead and get your little logs down the bottom here as well, okay? So I like to face the same way when I'm placing these like this, so that they're all in the same direction. And then finally, this little section around here as well. There we go. Right, that's looking pretty good. Right, guys, we're starting to actually get somewhere pretty well now. Now, we're going to get ourselves some stone bricks. And what we're going to do is we're going to get ourselves in a bit of a wall over this side here, which is going to bring us up to the main kind of um, area where the houses and stuff are going to be. Okay, this is kind of just the kind of port harbor area. We're going to kind of create the land area now. Okay. So, first of all, we're going to go from this left-hand pillar here. And we should have 10 blocks behind. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And on that 10th pillar there, we're just going to place a mark in for the moment. Now, we're just going to stand on here. And we want to bring it up until we are on the Y coordinate of 72. Okay. Oops. And that is going to be our ground level, which is going to be one, two, three, four, five blocks up. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place a sixth one on there. Okay. Now, from the bottom down, we're going to go down one. This is the fifth block up. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And then we're going to place another pillar like this. Again, bringing it up. One, two, three, four, five. And then pillar all the way up. Okay, so we're matching up with our five block gaps at the front here. As you can see, our pillars are all in line, okay? Keeping it quite symmetrical. So now we're going to just continue this all the way down to this wall over here, up to this edge here, and then we're going to work our way around, and we're also going to fill it in down to that end there, okay? So we're going to continue the way, same way we're going for now. So one, two, three, four, five. Oops. Make sure the pillar is on the sixth one, okay? Because you want to have a five block gap in the center. All right, and continue this all the way down. All 
All right, guys, to even out this corner here, we're going to actually have to do something a little bit different. So what we're going to do is where this pillar is, we're going to grab our stone bricks. And so the pillar, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five. And on that sixth block, we're going to bring it up to the same height like that. Over here at this corner, we're going to diagonally bring it up to here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight in this gap here. Which is a little bit of an awkward number, but it's the only way we can kind of even everything off here. Then we're going to continue, so we'll bring a pillar over to here, which should be in line with both that side and that side, which it is. We're going to raise that up. And we're going to join that like so. And then down this way, we're going to continue the same thing again. So one, two, three, four, five. On the sixth one, we're going to bring a pillar upwards. One, two, three, four, five. Pillar upwards. And we're going to do this all the way down until we get as far as we can to this end, okay? Alright guys, once you're done, you have something that looks a bit like this. Now, um, later on at some point, I imagine this is probably going to extend further into the land area there. We will extend that at some other point. But for now, we're going to just quickly come down to this end here. And we want to create another little area here. So we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And again, we're going to bring a pillar up just here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Bring the pillar up. Now, I think, I think we'll go one more time here. Again, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And a 1 up. Okay, that's looking pretty good. So, now what we're going to do from here is we're going to actually create a stairway. So the stairway is going to be in between a gap here. So let's just place one, two, three, four, five. We're going to have a pillar here. Let's break these five here. So we're going to have a pillar here. We're going to bring that up to the same height. Do the same pattern again here, guys. So three, four, five, and then bring another pillar up just here. One, two, three, four, five. Pillar up from the ground. Go ahead and break that one out of the way for the moment. Okay. Um, now, I think let's leave that just for a second like that. Because I think what we're going to do is we're going to actually have a stairway. Which comes in from here. So, for instance, the stairway is going to start about here, I think. So, something like one, two, three, four, five. We'll have a stairway kind of in here. Bring this all the way up until you're on the kind of floor level about here. Oops, one more up. There we go, that's floor level. So I think we're going to have a stairway just there. And we need another stairway. Where should we put a second stairway? Let's see. We've got a stairway at that side. Should I bring a stairway in the center here? Maybe straight up from the jetty area just here. Maybe we should go and place a stairway right in this gap here. So we do the same again. So this would have to come back a bit. And we'd have a wall built up at each side. Something kind of like that. So we've got like a five. We're bringing it five blocks back. Okay. Five blocks back on this side. And that's four blocks back on that side. Five blocks, I think. Um, and we're bringing it up to the floor level again about there. Just for now at least. And then we're going to start the staircase about there. Yeah, that looks good. 
so we're going to put the stairway in so it's one block back okay like that And make sure both sides is level. There we go. Okay, I think that will do to bring that up to the level of that. That looks good. We've got two stairways. I don't think we need any more stairways than that. I think that will do. One stairway there, another stairway there. Now, over here, though, I do want to make a little bit of an extension up to this higher level of ground here. So, from where the stairs end... We're just going to go one, two, three, four, and five. Let's put a block on that sixth one. We can leave this one like this for the moment. Okay, and just break out a bit of this area here for a minute. Just to clear a little bit of room. Okay, let's go ahead and put some stone in here. So we're going to bring some stone across here. Let's fill in behind these stairs. So one, two, three, four, five, six. We've got, okay, six blocks gap, like so. And we're going to bring it past this one as well. And I think we're going to do another stairway. And again, this one's going to be about here. So let's make a little platform like this just for a minute. Um, how high is the ground here? I think the main might go one more than that. I think up to about there. We could level that ground out a little bit if we wanted to. And again, we put our stairs from here. One, two, three, four, and five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, let's move it one over. So we're going to go like that. There's going to be a pillar come up here. Or rather, a pillar there. This pillar we're going to probably extend up to here. One, two, three, four. How high is it? One, two, three, four, five more blocks high, okay? Do that. So one, two, three, four, five. There's already one there. Two, three, four, five. Oops, five. Let's join across like this. Just like that. That looks pretty good. Um, okay, so at the top of the stairs, let's put another one of those there just for support. Little pillar. That would be another pillar there, and then the stairway would go up from there. Um, yeah, okay, let's do this then. So we're going to break this side here that we just built. Sorry, guys. Break that out, and then you want your stairway, because you want it five blocks wide, so it's even with the other stairway down here, okay? Extend it across. Going to keep extending it until we get to where the floor level would be. Thinks one more, one more high, yep. So let's just place a temporary block there. Okay, that looks good. And then we can get our stone. And we're going to just fill a little wall in here for the moment. So we want something like that. Over here, we've got one, two, three, four, five blocks. And then here, we're going to build this up to five blocks high. Which, one, two, three, four, five blocks high. And then let's just join this over here a minute. Up to this stair here. And then our fifth block should be at the front of the stair here. Okay, something kind of like that. Yeah, I think I'm pretty good with that, guys. That's looking pretty good. Right. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to do something to just fill the backs of these. So, first of all, come over to here and you just want to do 
this, okay? You just want to bring a little gap like that, okay? You don't want the, um, you don't, where the pillars are, you want a little gap that runs behind the back there, okay? Something like that, something like that. This is all okay. And um, we're okay across here. Let's come over to the back over this side here. The same here. We want to just remove some of this back in here. Well, we can replace that in a moment, actually. Let's clear it from here. Because we're going to replace this and make a little bit of a nicer back in here. Go around the whole edge here, guys, all right? Go around this whole edge here. And what you're going to do is you're literally going to fill it with spruce wood. So inside these gaps, we want something that looks a bit like this. Let's go ahead and do this. So in behind, behind your gaps, you're going to have like spruce wood like this, okay? So I'm going to go around and we're going to replace any of these gaps like this spruce wood all the way behind it. Don't bring it up behind this block here because this is going to be the ground level. So we're going to have stone go on there. So we only need to bring it up just until we cover that gap there. Okay, like that. Go around. You want to do it down these gaps here. These gaps down this side here. You want to do it behind these gaps. All these gaps all the way down here. And then you want to do it behind all of these gaps here. This gap here, this gap here. And what we're going to actually just quickly do is go one, two, three, four, five, six. Bring that down as far as we can for the moment. Uh, here's going to be the ground level. So let's just put in some polished andesite in that gap. Get rid of the stone bricks in this gap for the minute. We don't need that there. This gap here, let's put some polished down the site like this just for a second um, and then what we will probably do is level this off around the back here so let's bring this all the way across here all the way into this gap here for now later on we'll do a bit more work on this and then we want a five block gap so one two three four five on that six one there, just bring a pillar up to the top. Do the same again. One, two, three, four, five on the six one. Bring a pillar up, and then I don't think we got room. Three, four, five. No, we ain't got room for a final pillar. So do that. Place one on top of here, like this. Every time there's a pillar, go ahead and place one. One, two, three, four, five. So we want a pillar just here. One there, one there, one there, one there, one there. Now this bit here, guys, just extend it all the way across until we, until we bump into the mountain side, which is about there. And we're gonna just go across. Um. Ch -ch 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 -ch. Do you know what? This wall here, this wall here, let's go ahead here. We'll just fill in a solid wall all the way across, okay? So fill in all of that gap all inside there with stone bricks. But the rest of your gaps, which are here, round here, round this side here, and all down this wall here, we're going to go ahead and fill them in with spruce wood, okay? Just like we got here. So I'm going to go and do that off camera, guys. Don't forget this side down here as well. You want spruce wood behind all of it, okay? Alright, so I'm going to go ahead, fill that in with spruce wood, and then I'm going to fill this big wall in here with stone bricks, okay? And I'll catch you guys at once we're done. Alright guys, things are looking pretty good. Now, I'm just going to quickly bring some of this wall back a little bit, because I, I wanted to put some storage sheds down here, and we're not going to be left with very much room. So, I think what we're going to do is we're going to move the wall back to this point here, okay? So, let's grab our stone bricks. And we want the wall to be extended back to about about here, okay? So, go ahead and knock this bit of wall out. I do apologize, guys. I do apologize for this little mistake here. Um, so, ignore this piece here. 
Um, but yeah, if we can go ahead and we're going to remove it, and then that way it gives us a bit more room for building, okay? So go ahead, knock all of this out, and bring it up to, I suppose, bring it up so it's in line with this wall here, okay? So you kind of give us a big kind of squared off section for building in. All right, so I'm going to go ahead, quickly knock all of that section out, and then we're going to come back and we're going to make a little bit of design for the stairway here, and then add some design into these walls, some lighting and stuff like that, okay? It's going to look really cool, so going to go ahead, just remove all of this section here, and uh, we'll see how it looks once we're done. Okay, guys, that's much better. We've got much more room to work with now. And don't worry about this bit of mountain at the side here, guys, because we're going to build some big storage sheds, and hopefully they'll blend in. We'll get it to blend in with the area. If not, we will be removing a little bit of it just to even off the ground and stuff like that. So we'll do that another time. But for today, we're just going to work on the rest of this. So first of all, let me just replace some of these with some stone. Just for the moment. There we go. Right, now, let's get our stone bricks, and we're going to extend the stone bricks all the way to the end of the stairs like this, okay? Bring them all the way down, like so. Then we're going to get an upside-down stair and place it on the end of all of these like that. When we get to this stair here on the corner, we're going to break some of these off like this, and we're going to try and put a stair there. And then we're going to just break some of these ones. So we should have a stair and a block at the side of each of the stairs like that, okay? And then we're going to go ahead and do the same thing. Upside down stair all the way up, all the way to the top. Yeah, that looks pretty good. I actually like that. That looks quite nice. That's a nice kind of finish. And then we're just going to do one, two, three, four, five, place a block. Three, four, five, place a block. Three, four, five, place a block, and then the next one will be further on. Okay, so that'll do for now, just for roughly where our gaps are going to go. Right, okay, I'm pretty happy with the look of that for the moment. So we're going to do a bit more work probably here later on in the series, okay? But for the moment, we're going to probably leave most of this area as it is, other than a little bit of neatening up, which we're going to do in just a second. So... Before we go ahead and get in a platform around the back here and even off some of this land, we're going to just work out a little design here that we're going to do for all of these little gaps here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to be using my end rod because it actually looks like a glowstone. Uh, it actually looks like a glowstone. It actually looks like a lantern. Um, but you guys could use a torch if you want or an just a normal end rod. Or if you're playing in the latest snapshots, they already have lanterns in there. So you could go ahead and use that. So, I'm going to be using a lantern for here. Now, I'm also going to be using the stone slab. Now, if your stone slab doesn't look like stone, see, my stone slab looks like this. See how much it looks like the stone? If yours is a lot of a lighter color and looks a bit different, you might be better off using the stone brick slab, okay? So, just bear that in mind. Um, okay, so I think I've got everything I need now. So, what I'm thinking we're going to do here is we're going to run stone slabs across the bottom like this. We're going to place a stone stair like this and like this. We're going to have an upside down stair and an upside down stair like that. I think that looks pretty good. Let me do it in the one next to it as well, because then I can kind of see how it looks next to each other. Something like that. I'm not going to put that one there, actually, because it's going to look a bit funny because it twists the stair. So we're going to do something like that. And then we're going to go ahead and put an upside down stair again there. At the top here, guys, we're going to go two of the slabs like this, the stone slabs. Like I said, if yours is a different color, go ahead and use a stone brick slab so that it blends in. Then place a stone brick slab on top of these three blocks like that, giving us a nice kind of effect for the wall. So normal stone slabs here and here. Stone brick, and then a stone brick slab on top of the four blocks, like that. And I think that looks pretty good. Then, on the bottom half of this block here, we're going to place a um, a normal slab, a stone slab. And then I'm going to place my lantern texture just underneath here. Now, if you guys are using torches, I would suggest don't bother with putting this little sticking out bit here and just put a torch on the wall at the top here somewhere. 
Now, I quite like that design. I think that is actually going to be good enough. And I'm going to extend that all the way around everywhere on here. Um, I think that will fit in pretty well. I think I'm even going to do that same design up here. So we've got like one, two, one, two, two there and two there. Then place a full block in the centers. Then stone brick slabs on the tops. And I think that's pretty good. That's nice. It's simple. It's not too, too crazy. But I think it does the job. I think it looks quite nice. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So I'm going to go ahead and do that all the way around the build, guys. Doing it on all of my pillars everywhere that we have. And then I think next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to just create a platform at the back here. So what you want to do is get your stone, your stone bricks, uh, stone, normal stone rather. And just start creating a platform like this, okay? So just create a platform and bring it back to wherever you feel sort of comfortable with. You know, bring it back. Remember, we're going to be building. So my goal is probably going to be about probably about 20 blocks this way. And then right down, follow it all the way down to the end here. And then bring it in line probably with this end here. Okay, so I have a big section all the way down from here. something along these lines so we bring it all the way down and then probably somewhere around about here maybe a little bit further just take it all the way down and join it up at that end where we just was fill it all in with stone if you can um, and then maybe sort of use it like a pattern so at the moment if you do it it's going to look like what we got down here but what you want to do is get something like this so i've got polished andesite i've already got my stone which is already on the ground i'm then going to use some granite because it is dark gray in this texture pack some andesite some diorite and some normal stone slabs okay now if your granite is red do not use it guys because it's not going to look right okay so only use some gray blocks to blend in if you think your cobblestone looks good Go ahead and whack some cobblestone in there. And you just want to create some just little random bits. So I'm going to start with some granite. And I'm just going to literally just break a load in the ground like this. Yeah, just patches like this. Random shapes. Nothing really organized. And just put a load of it in the ground, okay? Now, like I said, if, you've, if your granite is red, don't use it, guys. Go ahead and maybe do cobblestone or... Um, maybe some andesite, some normal andesite that is. Okay, and just do something random. Create a bit of a texture kind of like this, okay? Then, with your andesite or another layer block, it could be diorite if you want. Just go ahead and place in a few sort of random lighter ones here and there. Again, making this one a little bit less than the other block before. So we're getting a bit of a kind of lighter textures in there now and again diorite is quite bright so i'm gonna just go very just sparingly with this one if you like just a couple you don't want too many okay you just want a little bit of something to just break it in here and there then we're gonna get some polished andesite which looks really good just break a couple i normally stick them in patches of one or two you know close to each other Again, not going too crazy with them because when you get too many in there, they can just look a little bit out of place. You know, we just want to kind of just create a little bit of texture shape in there because they get that nice little kind of dark edge around them. And then if you want to, you could go ahead and put a few random stone slabs in as well. Just try and make sure they're in um, some decent locations. They look very similar to the polished andesite, so... Let's go with that one, actually. Let's get that one there. You know, just create just a little bit of kind of texture. Something kind of like this, okay? And you want to do that around all of this stone area on the docks. Be sure you don't change up this andesite around the edge, okay? Because this is like a nice little finishing block just to make it look nice. So don't go ahead and do anything with any of this. Um, go ahead and get all of your gaps in place like this. Do your little decoration exactly the same as what we've done here. Do this in all of the gaps. 
And lastly, guys, be sure to build yourself a bit of a platform around the back here with stone. You know, like I said, just extend a big stone area. And you can either keep it a stone or you could go ahead and, you know, just texturize it like we've done on the docks at the front. So go ahead and fill it all in. It's going to take a while because it's a very big job. You haven't got to bring it in till it's level on the ground because we'll be doing that later on as we carry on building. What you just want to do is create a bit of a base so that we can start working with it, okay? So I would start from this corner, go about 25 blocks this way-ish, maybe, maybe even 35 blocks this way, and then bring a gap, bring it all the way down this side, okay? And join it up down here. And just make sure that you just break anything that's in your way, whether it's trees or a bit of grass, break anything that's in your way and just level it all off so you've got a nice big platform to work with. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that, guys, and I'll catch you once I've got all of them details in and we can take a little bit of a look at how everything's looking and shaping up. All right, guys, and we are finally back. And as you can see, we've got everything all in place now. I've done all of the texturization in all of the ground. I also finished putting in the ground level at the back here. Like I said, guys, we will continue doing more work on how it, how far to extend it. But we just extended it back. I think it was about 35 blocks from that corner there to there. Uh, let's go ahead and count so you guys can do it for yourself if you want to bring it to exactly the same point. So we'll go ahead and place 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh, we've done it a lot further. 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46. 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So I bring it back by 56. Now, guys, you don't need to bring it back by 56 at the moment if you don't want to. I just basically extended it as far as I kind of could for the moment um, just to make a nice big platform. And I bring it all the way down to this corner here. This ground here is going to extend upwards and it's going to level off to about the same height as this hill over here so we're going to be creating builds at different heights the terrain over here is probably it's going to extend up i think maybe up to about the height of this hill so we're going to have some houses going up higher and we're going to try and create a bit of height to some of the ground here and um, hopefully it will look pretty good when it's done so I think I did make a couple of changes. I, well, I added a couple of things and I changed a couple of things. So first of all, I placed in some chiseled stone blocks here. So where the pillar is, I placed one at the side of the pillar, one in the middle pillar, and one by the side of the right pillar, leaving a one block gap in between each one of them at the center. It just added that little bit of extra detail and I think it looks really cool. I really like the way it looks. Um, we've got our stairway over here, which you can see we've extended it as it is. I placed also the, the uh, chiseled stone bricks just underneath there as well. Same around this edge here. Um, so we've got our platform all in looking nice like that. Now the only other thing I changed was this corner here. Was because we had that gap over here that was like 7 blocks long to even it to this pillar here so we could keep it even. It was really bugging me. I didn't like the, the shape of it. So what i done, I came over to the corner here. I kept it level with the corner and we've got one pillar, two pillar, three pillar. So now the gap down this side is a little bit tighter, but there's enough, plenty of room for us to still walk up and down it. Whoops. Um, but that is about the only change that I really made here. You guys don't have to do that change if you don't want to. It was just kind of something that I wanted to do because that little corner there was just bugging me because it wasn't even and following the pattern. So it really bugged me. So other than that though, I think it all looks pretty good. Um, I think I did move this stair back by one block as well so that I could place a block on that pillar there. Um, but yeah, that I think was about it. That was all of the changes that we've done in here. Um, I added these here. This is where we're going to make like three kind of little warehouses. Um, I don't think they're going to have tall roofs. I think it's just going to be like slabbed roof going up like this. Up and down in like a zigzag pattern. We'll create a nice little front to it and a nice big kind of open door. We're 
kind of fill it with some storage and stuff like that for little warehouses. I think it'd look pretty cool. Um, and I think that's about it for the docks so far. This is what we have for the harbour at the moment. I'm pretty happy with everything we've got. Um, I may well make a little extension at the side here at some point and make a crane. Because I think a crane would be really good. Really good. And um, we can have like a big cargo boat here at some point as well. Um, but that will come later on anyway. We'll work that out at some point. I do plan on building a few boats or ships at some point. But I still got to do a bit of practice with building because uh, I haven't really built any boats in Minecraft. So that's going to take a little bit of practice for those. Um, so that should be pretty cool. I'm looking forward to getting some of them in at some point. So now we've got all of our groundwork, guys, and everything is kind of laid out just how I kind of want it. I think what we're probably doing next episode is we'll either, we'll either start working on some of the little warehouses over here and create a nice little bit of area here. Or we'll start working maybe maybe on something like a tavern. Because being at right at the seafront, you're going to get a lot of visitors and sailors and whatever else. So I guess one of the first things they would look for is somewhere so they can go and have a, something to drink and eat. And maybe just to chill out for the night and whatever else. So maybe we'll build like a bit of a tavern or something around here. I think it would be pretty nice. A tavern slash inn. I've got a really cool design, which is going to be really good. Um, it's not the same as the last design we've done. Like I said, this is going to be completely different. We've got so many cool new builds coming to this series, guys. So please stay tuned because I've got so many builds planned for this. And it's going to be a lot different to my last series, but it should be really cool. I hope you guys enjoy it. Anyway, guys, I think that is about it for all of the changes. I know this tutorial has probably been pretty long and is a lot of work to do. There is a lot of stuff that's gone into this. So I hope you guys have enjoyed it anyway. If you did, please don't forget to smash that like button because it really does help me out, guys. And if you're new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. Just don't forget to hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. But for now, this is Blue Nose signing out, and I will catch you guys in the next one.